Hey, hey everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. I have been waiting to do this video. I am so excited. Um, Stylevana sent me a box of makeup. <laughs> Yay! And I have tried a few K-beauty, J-beauty things in the past, but not a ton. And I have some really, really cute things <laughs> to try. The whole reason I've been waiting to do this video, because I got this box like a week and a half ago, but I was waiting for this mascara to come. So of all the things I'm trying today, this is the one thing that I did by myself. Everything else was sent from Stylevana, but this mascara from Clio has been getting insane reviews. So I can't wait to try that today. The other things I'm going to try, I'm going to have some kind of colorful things. We'll see how this look turns out. <laughs> uh, one of the colorful things from Etude House, this is the Dear Darling Water Tint, and this is actually orange. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go today, but I definitely want to try it. I also have a lip balm. This is the Dewy Lip Balm in Tinted Pink from Name It. I'm always down to try a product like this. This base product. This is going to be interesting. So this is the Peach C Peach Glow Makeup Base. I do have a swatch I can show you that I filmed ahead of time and this is very peachy and very glowy. So <laughs> we'll see what it does under makeup. Oh, speaking of under makeup, they sent me a new sunscreen to try, which, oh, it just brings me so much joy. This is from Skin 1004. This is the Madagascar Centella Hyalusica Silky Fit Sun Stick. It's SPF 50. Um, we'll see how this works under makeup today. They also sent me a blush and it's so cute. This is the Jelly Dough Blusher from Holika Holika. The shade is quite wild. It is a bright pink, bright cool toned pink, I should say. This shade has been super popular for the past couple of years, but I think this one is the brightest one that I will have uh, tried. So we'll see how that goes. And then look at this eyeshadow palette. How cute is it? It's got a dolphin. <laughs> And a puppy on the front. And I'm gonna insert swatches of this palette because I actually think the swatches look really promising. I think that I'm gonna really enjoy the eyeshadow looks I can create with this. I was really not sure about this blue sparkly shade over here, but it's actually a really cute cool toned topper shade. And the mattes are all shades that I will use. I think the only shade that I'm not really super into is this matte black over here just because it, they added sparkles to it. But I'm still gonna, I'll, I might try it as an eyeliner or something. But let's get started. I've actually never uh, used an, a sunscreen stick like this. Uh, so first impressions of it, it feels very nice and uh, creamy, I guess, but it's a gel stick. So I just, by creamy, I just mean it applies uh, really easily. It's not like pulling on my skin. I have no idea how much to apply. It's like invisible. Yeah, I just I just have no idea. I'm gonna add more to my forehead. I know that this brand, um, Skin 1004, has another sunscreen that has really been popular. Um, I unfortunately can't use that one because it has niacinamide in it and I have gotten sensitized to that ingredient, unfortunately. But happily, this one, as far as I could tell, <laughs> doesn't have that in it. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit before we move into primer. So I will be right back. Okay, so before I move on, I just have to say the texture of that was so interesting. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. My skin is dry, there's no stickiness. I didn't smell anything. I feel like it's got a very, very slight kind of fresh smell, but it's very, very slight. The only thing I can tell that happened is my skin feels kind of smooth. Like I put like a silicone primer on or something, but it was like, it's basically invisible. It's very interesting. All right, let's move on to something that will not be invisible. So <laughs> I'm really, really interested to try this. I saw some decent reviews of this. I'm actually just gonna take just a little bit. I don't wanna go too overboard. Here's just that much. So this has a really strong peach scent. How interesting. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and keep this as uh, to the outside of my face because I know it is a like, very glowy product. Okay, that's not nearly as bad as I was thinking, right? I can't even actually see anything. Maybe I should have added more. My skin is just so dry. I mean, I did moisturize beforehand, but everything's just kind of sinking into my skin because it's so dry right now. So you can see on the tips of my fingers how it's supposed to look kind of like a peachy pearlized look. So we're just going to add a little bit more so that we can truly test it here. I actually think it is a pretty product, but does it actually do anything? <laughs> I don't know, but I keep smelling my fingers. Very, very intensely peachy scented. Okay, use, moving on to foundation, I'm gonna use my Yensa BB Cream or BC foundation, I should say. I was really tempted to purchase the Misha BB Cream 
just for this video. I kind of want that back in my collection. But before I purchase the Misha again, I really want to try the, um, oh no, now I can't think of the brand. I might have to put it on the screen, but people seem to love it. And it often goes on sale at Ulta during 21 Days of Beauty. So that's another, I can't remember if that's J Beauty or K Beauty, but that's another brand I really want to try. I use the shade light neutral in the Yensa foundation and I really do like the Yensa foundation. It's just that the um, this one, the Yensa, the Misha, the one I want to try from Ulta, they all have SPF in them so they all expire faster than other foundations do so I don't like to have them all in my collection at the same time. Okay today I'm going to use my e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I have the shade Fair 15W which is fairly light but I don't like any of the other shades <laughs> so yeah last time I used up one of these I told myself I wouldn't buy this same shade again but here I am <laughs> I do really like this product it is very lightweight definitely not like a super high coverage situation if you're not trying to cover dark circles you're just trying to kind of brighten up the under eyes a little bit give yourself a tiny little bit of coverage I really like this product and since it's so thin and lightweight it's not gonna cause lines to look pronounced under your eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna throw on some bronzer. I'm just gonna use my Flower Beauty bronzer. My lid on this just broke, so I'm trying to be super careful with it. But I use the shade Sunrise. It's a beautiful, rosy toned, super buildable formula. One of those things you can just kind of slap on and it always looks good. All right, I am super interested by this water tint. Uh, I know it's for lips, but this, is this also a product you can use on your cheeks? I don't know, I might mix things up and like use this as a blush and then put this on top of it. I just, I really wanna just experiment today. So usually right now I wouldn't do lips, but I want to just go ahead and do it. <laughs> just wiping off my lip balm. Okay, so with a product like this, it can look crazy at first, right? But you, your lips together and just kinda, yeah, it's very sheer and not nearly as crazy looking as you'd think. Although I have some dryness on the interior of my lip where it wants to collect a little bit. That's unfortunate, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. I think it's actually kind of fun. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, so to finish off my lips, I'm just gonna put on this Naming Dewy Lip Balm. This is the shade Tinted Pink. And just looking at it, yeah, it looks like it's barely pink. I was wondering if it's got a little bit of like PHE pinkiness to it. I don't know. It doesn't say on the packaging. So, so I don't know, but it does leave a slight pinky tint. Formula feels lovely. Mm, very nice and balmy. Okay. Yeah, it's actually more pink than I was thinking. It might have some pH changing things in it, but I don't know. I don't want to claim that because I don't know. But it feels super comfortable anyway. Okay, so let's do the cheeks. Let's try a little bit of this orange tint and I'm going to keep it up pretty high here and just tap it in and it just left like a watercolor tint how fun is that I love it okay let's add some to this side you can tell the formula is very watery but somehow very easy to work with as well. Okay, that was super fun. I enjoyed putting it on my lips and my cheeks. Love it. Okay, so now let's add some of this. So normally with a squishy dough uh, formula like this, I would use a brush, but it did come with this little thingy, puff. There, that's the word I'm looking for. So let's try this. I really don't wanna to add too much. So I'm just going to gently press. Let's see, yep, I got some. So let's keep it up pretty high. <laughs> it's actually working better than I expected it to. Even bringing it up under the eye a little bit. Fun. <laughs> Makes a fun sound too, can you hear it? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so just fun. I'm loving that. The orange and the pink together, I think it works. Okay, super enjoy this. I forgot to do my eyebrows. I'm going to quick put those on. I'm just going to use some Benefit brow gel and then my Benefit pencil. Nothing too exciting. I like to use the gel first to get everything 
set and then just fill in with a pencil. I like to use Jade 5 in the brow pencil, by the way. All right, now we can get to this exciting, cute little eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna throw on some Milani eyeshadow primer, which if you've never used this particular eyeshadow primer, it isn't tinted, so it's not going to like cover up veins or anything. Like the whole point of this one is just to keep your eyeshadows from creasing and to make them wear as long as possible. And I think it does a really good job. Okay. Now for this little cutie. So I'm feeling super indecisive. I really like both of these topper shades, um, but I really, I would, I guess I would just use one in one eye look for me personally. So I feel like I want to do the blue. It's winter. <laughs> Should we just go for it? But what would that go with all of the, the peachiness and oranginess and pinkiness going on? It might, yeah, that'd be okay. So let's see then. I'm going to go, since I'm going to use that blue, into this cooler taupey shade here. Pull it a little closer. These shadows seem to me to be softly pigmented but buildable. Oh yeah, super easy to use. I love this type of eyeshadow. Both this color and just the level of pigmentation. I know a lot of people can find this type of eyeshadow frustrating because they are kind of soft. But I wouldn't say this lacks pigment. I only dipped in one time there. I'm just using my e.l.f. What is this called? It might be worn off. Uh-oh, it might be. I think it's called the blending brush. <laughs> or maybe it's called the crease brush. In any case, it's not that big. It's nice and pinched at the bottom and fluffier at the end. So it's nice if you have smaller eyes and you're looking for a blending brush that's not so big. Okay, I'm just going to take this little flat brush. This is the Morphe M124. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that matte brown. Matte brown with sparkles, I should say. It's not a full matte brown. And I'm just going to pat, 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 pat in the outer corner. Yeah, as per usual with a lot of these mattes with sparkles in them, once you start to apply it, you can't really even see the sparkles. They kind of blend away. You can see a little bit super up close, but not something you're really going to notice. All right, I'm just gonna use my finger a little bit to smudge that. All right, switching to a Morphe 506. <laughs> It's a little, it's like a small pointed blending brush. Get in the crease right there and blend it out a little bit. All right, I feel like that brown wanted to be a little bit patchy, but it's still, it's fine. And go over everything again with the e.l.f. brush. Okay, let's go into that icy light blue topper. Oh, it's so cute, so fun. And I just wanna press this in the center of my lid. I don't wanna do anything too, too crazy with it. I just want to right there and we'll Pat it. Oh, it's so cute. I hope you guys can see how cute that is. The sparkles are really small. And don't worry about this over here. I'm going to come over here with um, concealer and clean that up. I started, I blended too far down, so now I'm dragging my eye down a little bit, but I'll fix that once I'm doing the lower lash line, but I can't get over how much I'm actually enjoying this. I never thought I would enjoy a baby blue topper, but the sparkles are so small. It looks super wet looking. I am really enjoying this. All right, let's clean up that side a little bit. I'm just gonna take the pen from e.l.f. and just maybe a little bit over here. There we go. Keeping it lifted. <laughs> My eyes do downturn a little bit, so sometimes it's very easy for me if I just follow the natural shape of my eye to bring it down too far. I really wanna try this beautiful champagne over here in the inner corner. I'm gonna use this Sigma pencil brush. I'm gonna drag that a little bit on the inner eye too since I didn't put anything there. All right, I wanna try that with my finger. I feel like it might work a little better. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna take the pencil brush again and I'm gonna go into the shade that has a little puppy on it. <laughs> it is a very, very light, creamy taupe. And we're just gonna bring that down on the lower lash line for a little bit of contrast there. And that may be a little light. So I'm gonna dip a little bit into this shade again and sweep that along the lower lash line. There we go. How fun is that? I think it's so fun, I love it. Very, very wet looking. I know sometimes those types of sparkles can be hard to pick up on a camera, especially since I'm just filming on an iPhone, but I hope you can see how like super reflective and wet that texture is. This is delightful. I would love to try more K-Beauty brands. So I don't even know if I said that this is from Peri Peri. Peri Para, excuse me. Okay, so moving on to this very popular 
mascara. So I bought mine on Amazon and there are a couple different kinds of the Kill Lash from Clio. Specifically the one that's getting the attention is the volume curling one, which I haven't even opened this yet. Let's, oh, okay. So far I immediately like the wand. I feel like it wants to grab all my lashes. I'll have to come back and clean that up. So far I think it's a very pretty mascara. I don't feel like it is that curling, but I definitely want to continue trying it. I do like it though. But you know, first impressions with mascaras are not always accurate. We all know that they get better a couple weeks in. So I will continue to try this. I really like how it looks on my lower lashes. All right, so this eye, I have lost several lashes. So like no mascaras right now look good on this eye. <laughs> but we'll give it a shot here. You can see where I've lost lashes right there. It's like a big space. Okay, while I was in the bathroom cleaning off all of my mascara mistakes, I took the opportunity to take off my headband, fluff my hair a little bit, put in some earrings. <laughs> so uh, n notably, the mascara did not want to come off my skin. I had to really, really scrub at those spots with a q-tip to get them off and it did remove a little eyeshadow so I went back in and tried to fix that mistake. I feel like I didn't even get all the mascara off my lash line right there so hopefully that means good things for the longevity of how it wears. I will definitely keep you updated. I realized I didn't put on any highlighter which I must fix. Let's use this one from Nabla. I pulled this out in my shop my stash this month and I'm just loving this so much. Every time I use it I love it. I like to apply this one with a fan brush. I find that um, each highlighter I own, I like to apply differently. Different brushes, sometimes with fingers. This one I do love with a fan brush. And I really just kind of buff it everywhere. All right, so this was a first impressions video, which are fun to do, but you know, opinions can change. But so far, I'm really enjoying all my key beauty stuff. I mean, definitely certain things will take a longer time to truly test, like the sunscreen and the mascara. But thank you so much to Stylevana for sending me some things to try. I had so much fun today. I cannot get over how wearable the blue uh, topper shadow is in this palette. It's definitely not a shade I would have chosen by myself. So having them send this to me was a really fun opportunity for me just to try something different. Have you tried any of these products? If you have some very favorite K-Beauty, C-Beauty, J-Beauty, anything, I love those types of products. Make sure and let us all know down in the comments because there's so much available. And a lot of the products, when you go to look them up, like the websites aren't in English and it's hard to find out what you're actually looking at. So if you do have favorite project, uh, products, please let us all know down in the comments because I love finding out about those things. If you have made it to the end of the video, you could hear about today's tea of the day. Today I'm drinking Masala Chai from the Sipping Streams Tea Company. It has organic black tea, ginger, cinnamon, green cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, and vanilla flavor. I always like to say when reviewing chais, I prefer for my chives to be quite peppery. This does not have like the peppery taste. It's more sweet. It's still good. I just wish it had a little bit more spice. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.